Thank you for joining us for our AgriPulse Washington Week interview. I'm Spencer Chase, joined this week by AgriPulse Associate Editor Ben Nully, discussing the week that was, agriculturally speaking, in Washington, D.C. And this week, uh, lawmakers returned to town after a two-week recess, uh, beginning into the middle of October here. A uh, number of things on the agenda, a number of things happened this week that we'll be happy to, to uh, summarize for you. Uh, first of which happened the uh, really the first day of work for a lot of folks here in town. Uh, that Tuesday, after that uh, Monday holiday, we saw the Environmental Protection Agency drop some news on us on how they uh, specifically plan to work on this uh, supplemental rulemaking for the uh, small refinery exemptions under the renewable fuel standard. We, we knew a couple weeks ago that this rulemaking was coming, actually saw the details of it. And uh, the details, uh, to, to, to be frank, uh, had some folks a little, uh, little fired up, but uh, what they are planning to do is using Department of Energy recommendations rather than the actual EPA allocations. And Ben, uh, some, some damage control here these last couple of days, including you had the opportunity to speak with uh, Deputy Ag Secretary Steve Sensky about just what the administration thinks, uh, you know, what their thinking was behind this. What, what, what did you learn from that conversation? Yeah, we, we talked to, I talked to him at the Global Ethanol Summit earlier this week on Tuesday and then uh, spoke to him again at the Senate Ag Committee hearing uh, today. And uh, he reassured, first of all, in the hearing that uh, the Trump administration is adamant about getting to 15 billion gallons uh, each year in the RVOs and in uh, making sure that is 15 billion gallons. A farm country has been concerned about um, these SREs uh, undercutting the RFS and they don't want to see that moving forward as uh, you know, plants had, had been uh, temporarily paused, things like that. Um, but uh, also on the table uh, today, I spoke with uh, Patrick Leahy. He is on the Senate uh, Probes Committee, and it sounds like they're trying to get some uh, probes bills on the floor of the Senate next week. Uh, he said he was hopeful. Uh, spoke with uh, Senate Agri Probes uh, Committee Chair uh, Hoven about that, and he said uh, I asked if it was one of one of the ag bills would be one of those, and he said cross your fingers. So still, I think working on uh, working on some of those details. Um, and even spoke with Bishop uh, in the House Ag Committee, a probes uh, committee there yesterday, and he said they were also working out some details as well. Yeah, and they need to get moving on the approach side of things because this continuing resolution that was passed uh, in there in September funds the government through November 21st. So before everybody goes home to eat turkey on Thanksgiving, they do need to figure out how they're going to continue to fund the government, whether or not they're going to accomplish something for the re remainder of the fiscal year or whether going, they're going to move that into December for some kind of year-end spending package. Still remains to be seen, but we do know that uh, the Senate, Senate approach side has, has been mentioned looking to move some of its bills. The House has also moved some of its bills. Uh, now the need to uh, combine those pieces of legislation into some kind of a uh, grand funding mechanism to make sure we can avoid a government shutdown. But uh, before we let you go here this week, we do want to keep you posted on some of the news and developments uh, on the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. Uh, House Democrats continue to meet with the Trump administration on that subject, looking to uh, get some kind of consensus. Uh, I believe the, the terminology that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi uses is a, a continuing path to yes. They're looking to looking to uh, continue discussing on that agreement. And uh, Ben, we do know that uh, as of, uh, I believe, literally as we speak, the uh, the House Democrats are meeting with the Trump administration and uh, U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer. Yes, yeah, still trying to iron out some details there. Uh, caught uh, Representative Rosa DeLauro of Connecticut, uh, who is on the working group uh, just before her vote this afternoon. And she did say, again, they're making progress and uh, you know, continue to hash out those sticking points, especially with the enforcement uh, labor standards and where they can meet uh, admi uh, the administration on that. Yeah, and Speaker Pelosi adamant about that today as well, that enforcement is, is in fact the key issue, uh, you know, really the underlying, uh, the underlying discussion point between the Trump administration and these House Democrats. A number of other things happened uh, this week in town as well. I'd encourage you to stop by agripulse.com for a number of write-ups, audio and video pieces for uh, just some of the events that happened throughout the week that made uh, this kind of, kind of an interesting one. I'll also have some colleagues across the country, across the world uh, this week. So uh, a lot of things going on, a lot of folks uh, dedicated at agripulse.com to keeping you informed on that information. But I think that's going to do it for this week. So for Ben Nolley, I'm Spencer Chase. Have a good one.